Hi, this is Mr. Adiwa. I will be discussing about the Bang Samoro using the communicative action principle of Habermas. In this principle, there will be eight reasons for the possibilities of the agreement. Number one, by way of bargaining. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkey congratulates the parties on the constructive attitude they have demonstrated during the dialogue process. Number two, by agreement. On October 7, President Aquino announced that the two parties have agreed to sign a preliminary peace agreement which calls for the creation of autonomous political entity named Bangsamoro. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation welcomed the preliminary peace agreement signed between the Philippine government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. Number three, by shared understanding, the preliminary agreement was reached after 32 peace talks between the two parties that spanned a period of nine years. Number four, by good reasons or aesthetic discourse. The 28-year conflict in Mindanao could be drawing to a close. The full implementation of the agreement by 2016 can be bring about peace, security, development, which will be good for the whole of the Philippines. Number five, being tested. Indonesia earlier sealed a similar peace agreement. Number six, the theoretical discourse. Journalistic investigation that government and MILF agree to create Bangsamoro to replace ARMM, according to Jamie News. Number seven, by examining reasons without force, repression, and inequality, we are going to attain goal with special rules on debate and with the presence of the third party and all concerned must be well represented to bring forth the idea of the concerned group. The Philippine government's chief negotiator Marvik Leonin and his small Islamic liberation front counterpart Moagir Iqbal signed the agreement on October 15, 2012 in the Rizal Ceremonial Hall of Malacanang Palace in Manila, Philippines. The agreement was sealed with Malaysian facility of Tengku Dato Abgafar, Tengku Mohamed, President Aquino, Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak, MILF Chairman Al-Haji, Murad Ibrahim, and Secretary General Merlin Itzanoglu of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation were all present at the signing of the agreement. A comprehensive agreement on Bangsamoro was signed at Malacanang in March 27, 2014 as witnessed by leaders and members of MILF in the Philippine government as well as the Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak, whose country served as the third party negotiator in the results. Last number eight, by therapeutic discourse, cooperative behavior and acceptability conditions. There were international reactions. Australian Foreign Minister Bob Carr welcomed the development. The European Union High Representative Catherine Ashton congratulated the Philippine government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front on the successful conclusion of the framework peace agreement. The European Union Foreign Affairs Chief also said as member of the International Monitoring Team in Major Development Partner and Poverty Allegation in Mindanao since 1990 will continue to lend its full support. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Indonesia said that Indonesia warmly welcomes the development it also added that Indonesia stands ready to provide support and assistance including exchange of experiences. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan said that Japan heartily welcomes the framework agreement, which it described as the first step towards the realization of peace projects in Mindanao. Finally, it said that Japan continues to offer full support to the Mindanao peace process. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation welcomed the preliminary peace agreement signed between the Philippine government in the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. The agreement has been studied by Thailand as possible framework to help solve its own southern Muslim insurgency. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Turkey congratulates the parties on the constructive attitude they have demonstrated during the dialogue process which has paved the way for this important agreement. It also stated that Turkey stands ready to provide support also to the subsequent phases of Mindanao peace Process. Turkey is a member of international contact group involved in the peace talks. The United Kingdom Foreign Secretary William Haji wholeheartedly welcomes the framework agreement, a testament to the commitment and vision of the parties. The full implementation of the agreement by 2016 can bring about peace, security, and development, which will be good not only for Mindanao but for the whole of the Philippines. The Secretary also reiterated his government's commitment as a member of the International Contact Group for the Peace Process and said the United Kingdom stands ready to provide assistance if such a rule would be valuable to the parties. The Secretary of the United States, Hillary Clinton, welcomes the announcement of the framework agreement.